Hey guys welcome to our channel, in this video we will see how to integrate Spring Data JPA with Spring Boot. Let's implement. Before start anything let's run and see everything is working fine or not. See it's working fine, let's check, if add something after the URL then what will happen? See the error is coming, let's first handle error page so instead of the default, customized page or message should come. Let's create one more controller called index controller. So there is an interface is available to handle this type of situation, so that interface name is error controller. This time we just add a message like no mapping available. Let's run and see instead of default my no mapping available message coming or not. See the message is coming so anything you add after default URL or anything invalid then the error message will come. Now let's add some database related operations. For handle database related stuff need to add data JPA maven dependency. Let's copy and paste it into palm.xml file. This time we are using MySQL so needs Maven dependency for MySQL, same way if you want to use some other database like Oracle or PostgreSQL, let's copy and paste it into palm.xml file. So as you can see now Hibernate related XML configuration file is required. Only you need to add some configuration in application properties file. I hope you know what are the properties are required for making a database connection. Like URL, driver class, username, password. and along with that need to add some of the JPA related properties. Let's create some of the model class just to make it simple we'll create a class called user. We are using an abstract persistable class so no need to add primary key. No need to add an annotation for each and every field and one good thing it automatically add underscore for capitalized string. Add create the database like the name we have given an application properties file. Now let's run and see everything is working fine or not and the database table is creating or not. See table created.
and column name also separated by an underscore. Let's add some dummy data in user table so for that we will create some insert query and put it in data.sql file. and add a data.sql path in properties file so when the application starts then automatically execute insert query. So as you can see data.sql executed and inserted two records in the user table, the same way you can create multiple insert script. We want to execute data.sql file only once so let's say comment that line. Let's create an MVC flow to perform basic flow of data. So we created a model class for user so same way we will create controller, service and repository also. As you know that if you are using Spring MVC then to perform basic CRUD operations you need to do so many things but in Spring Boot all can perform by creating one interface for particular model. and Spring Boot provides so many repositories like CRUD repository, JPA repository, paging and sorting repository. Let's see how to use JPA repository. The code is very simple. Better go with constructor injection saw so no need to put tire annotation again and again. Let's run and see user list is coming or not.
get inserted again even after comment so that can say only you need to create the file and keep it in the resources folder. That's okay let's check user list is coming or not. See it working. As you can see select query is there because we made it show SQL true in one of JPA property in application properties file. Let's review whatever we added. I hope you like this video, please subscribe our channel.